I have been, and I have also been inspired by a book that I came across called The Modern Saints, Portraits and Reflections on the Saints by artist Gracie Morbitzer. If you're interested in uh, discovering a bit more about this, the, the link, I've just shown you the link on the first slide. It's called themodernsaints.com. I think it was published last year and it's a really wonderful collection of portraits and reflections, a modern take on saints that are well known and some less well known. So let's begin by recollecting the day. Take a moment to become aware of those moments that were leading you towards greater love and life. and express your gratitude for those moments. And let us recall the times when our relationship with that flow of love and life felt broken. We ask for God's forgiveness. So I'd like you to pause and ponder. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. What does a life of faith look like? you. Perhaps a word or an image comes to your mind. And who has made the mystery of the gospel known to you? And how?
How did they help you to continue your life of faith? What would you like to say to them now? And what words of encouragement would you like to hear?
So now let us pray. For all the things that were bubbling up for you, just how, how allow yourself to become aware of them again. Hold them gently. Um, Jane, would you read uh, this prayer? So I should say that I haven't got a, a, a list of prayers. I'm, we're still kind of in, I'm inviting you into this continued meditation. For me, these two prayers stood out and they are from the book that I referred to earlier. Uh, the first one is a prayer to St. Monica. And the second one is a prayer to St. Ignatius. And there is something about these prayers that, for me, resonate with where we are, um, with possibly with where I am at the moment, but also where the church is as well. So, Jane, are you happy to read the first prayer? Yeah. A prayer to St. Monica. You know a thing or two about patience. You had some extreme burdens to bear, but you never gave up on them, and your intense love and prayers paid off. Be with us when all we can do is patiently wait. Bring us serenity and keep our spirits and love strong. Amen. I'd like you to read that to yourselves in silence. And the second prayer is to St. Ignatius of Loyola. Rosalie, are you there? Would you be happy to read this prayer? Okay. A prayer to St. Ignatius of Loyola. You changed your mind and your life because of it many times. Sometimes we are stubborn that we are right we find safety and comfort in sticking to what we have always done and believed. Show us how we can change and evolve while still being ourselves and loving God just as much. I invite you to read it to yourselves in silence.
And so I, I've brought um, all the portraits of the saints that I highlighted today together. And I've left one blank for you to fill in. So I invite you now to pause and think about who you would place in that blank spot. And this could be someone who hasn't necessarily died. I'm thinking about saints past and present. And maybe you put a whole a whole group of them in there. And I invite you to say a prayer of gratitude for those who have led the way for you in particular. Now let us say the Our Father together. Perhaps I'll, I'll say the prayer and you keep your microphones muted so that you're all overlapping too much. Never quite works on Zoom. And we ask God to give us our daily bread and the bread that we need to continue to live our faith to continue to serve God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And I'd like to end with a lovely poem uh, called Blessing. I'm sure I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, but I think it's Bianach or Bianach. Rosalie, you'd be able to say it better, <laughs> by John, the late John O'Donoghue. So I'm just going to press escape, so I can't click on the link without doing that. Let's listen to this wonderful blessing in John O'Donoghue's own words. This is a poem I wrote several years ago, and it's called Banath, which is the Gaelic word for blessing. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the grey window and the ghost of loss gets into you, 
may a flock of colours, indigo, red, green, and azure blue, come to awaken in you a meadow of delight. When the canvas frays in the coroc of thought, and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, may there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours, may the clarity of light be yours, may the fluency of the ocean be yours, may the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life.